had someone else here with me, I maybe would do another one to try to like make it more something, but I'm not gonna take another one just in here by myself. But if somebody else is in here, I would probably take a, two more of these and be off the fucking walls. Like y'all literally, do you guys remember in Cat in the Hat thing one and thing two, like running up the walls? Literally imagine me in a big ass red and white striped onesie, like running up and down like these windows going all up and down them. But if you wanna have a little solo night in with your, you know, to yourself, maybe it's a week night, so you don't wanna be hungover or something, you can have yourself a little bit and like, huh. Cute, you know? Such a good drink to unwind with. Yeah, I'm just like, that taste winds me up. So like, unwinding, I might need like a poppy. This one makes me feel like, but maybe I need to dilute it more. I also think it's the fact that I was drinking it with this sweet ass sparkling apple cider. Remember that should be doing with your family. Literally, I almost died. I, y'all, the last time I took an, literally thought I was gonna die. It was the highest dose. I couldn't even tell you guys what it was. It's probably as much as is in an entire bottle of this stuff. My brothers were also like, completely off it out of it and they smoke multiple times a day i don't do any any of that i've never i've like puff you know what i mean you like twice in my whole life ever twice and so y'all for them to do that multiple times a day and then be out of it i hope you all know your girl was not your girl for two and a half days when I say two and a half days, I was like, and I don't mean, oh yeah, the residual effects like two and a half days. No, I thought I was going to die for two and a half days. <laughs> Let me tell you what I really thought. The first day when I took it, I legitimately thought I was having a seizure or a heart attack. I think I thought I was having a heart attack because I couldn't move the left side of my body. And I think that when you're having a heart attack, they say like your left arm or something with it. Whichever arm it is, your left or your right, I think it's your left though. I literally was having like muscle spasms. I couldn't control it. My mom, when my brothers finally came up because like they were laughing crazy as hell too. And I'm like, y'all, I'm literally bawling. Like when I say I'm bawling, I'm in bed, I'm bawling. Like tears are streaming down my face, down my neck to my nips, okay? I'm bawling, crying because I was texting them in our group chat. I couldn't move and I'm in this big ass house in South Carolina. This is during my family Labor Day trip, okay y'all? Or Memorial Day, it was Memorial Day. I'm out here, I'm in the bed. There's this thing on the TV about like Krakens or something or like Krakens. What are those little mythical, medieval creatures called or something. I don't know if they were, y'all, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Krakens? Somebody knows it, because I said it one time on here and somebody got it. I can't continue the story until someone says what it is. A kraken. Kraken, that's what it is. They're like, a kraken moves through the water at a speed of 70, and I swear to God, goodness they said the same fucking sentence about this kraken for i'm not joking at least two hours straight it was on tv and it was a program and it was not running the same sentence but i'm telling you guys i heard it that probably the length of it was maybe like four minutes i heard it like oh my goodness a million and one times and i was just like okay What's going on? I grab my phone, cause at first I'm like, oh, kinda hee hee ha ha. And mind you, pause, let me backtrack. It started when like, I, it hit me as I was eating crabs at the dinner table. We have this big ass bushel of crabs. I'm sitting there eating them. I'm from Maryland. I love a good fucking crab. I hadn't had one in probably a year, not a year, maybe months and months and months, okay? I'm sitting there eating it. And then I just start to be like, I just start looking around me. I'm like, oh, looking well, at everybody eating their crabs. I'm like, okay. I say, you know what, I can't do this right now. I literally leave the crowds on the table. I go to the sink, I start washing my hands, just cracking up, I can't stop. But I'm like doing it secretly, cause I think in my mind, I was like, nobody knows that I'm feeling this way. Like, nobody's gonna know that I'm feeling this way. Let me just, let me be sneaky. Let me go sneak, sneak, wash my hands, whatever. I go upstairs to the room I'm staying in, and that is when I keep hearing about this goddamn crack. And they're like, and the kraken goes through the water, and he gets through, and he separates the wave, and the kraken then, and I swear it, the same sentence a million times. And this was literally though, and when I'd say, 
this was actually on TV. Like, don't think I'm making the Kraken up. That was on TV. Like, the, all of this is true, by the way. All this is true. Just hope you guys know. Nothing that I did today is affecting how I tell this fucking story. So I'm texting my family. I'm like, you guys, I need some water. Like, I really need some water. The door was open to the hallway. And I don't know why I got, like, a little bit paranoid. So I, like, ran up, closed the door. I got back in bed. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I'm just like, I'm starting to think. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm kind of just... Like, what's happening right now? I'm like, but I need some water, you guys. Nobody responds for two minutes. Now, although I feel like the length of time that everything, like this whole situation is probably exaggerated in my mind, after getting off of that, after a couple days, when I was looking through the timestamps, like it actually was this long in between people seeing my messages, I send that I need some water. Hey guys, can somebody bring me a bottle of water? Three minutes pass, nobody in my entire family says anything. Mind you, it's me, my mom, my one of my older brothers, the other older brother, my um, mom's boyfriend, and my sister-in-law all in this fucking group chat. Six people in this damn group chat, right? I'm texting them, hey, can you guys, like, I'm just really thirsty, I can't right now, this is how I'm like doing it in my head. I'm like, guys, four minutes pass. I'm like, hey, can somebody bring me some water? one more minute passes i'm like guys no i'm like really serious like you guys bring me some like some water right now so i start bawling at this point i'm bawling and i call um or i text them again and i'm like no seriously you guys i'm high as fuck and i think i'm having a seizure can someone bring me some goddamn water i literally say this my mom is in the group chat and everything i'm like what the fuck are you guys doing i need someone to bring me some water i said that would y'all believe no none of these mother Chris brought me water after that. I'm gonna be like, what is going on? Maybe 10 minutes go by. Mind you guys, I'm in this bed. As nobody's responding to me, I'm literally like, wow, I'm up here alone. For whatever reason, I feel like I can't move out of this bed. I feel paralyzed in this bed. And this is how I'm gonna die. I literally was like thinking about the headlines now. <laughs> TikTok influencer dies from overdose at, on family trip in South Carolina. I was like, Think about how disappointed everybody's gonna be in me. They don't even know me to be a smoke. I've never even smoked before. And I'm over here like gonna die from a drug overdose. I'm not even a druggie. I've never even like, what is going on? I've literally never done anything in my life. And I was like, dang, and this is the way that I'm gonna die. Like, oh my gosh. Then I was thinking about it, I was like, well, me and Golfer are supposed to go on this trip like next week. Who's gonna tell him if I die? And then I was like, who's gonna tell any of the bays if I die? But then I was like, I guess they would just see it on the news. You know, literally all this stuff's going through my head. And then I was like, well, if I had a funeral, I wonder like which of the bays my family would invite. I swear to goodness, all this is going through my head like right now. And, but also what is just at the front of my mind though is the fact that I'm going to die and the headline is going to be TikToker. It'll probably be TikToker who vlogged her dates with old ass white men and everyone thinks that she was a sugar baby passes away of a drug overdose in South Carolina. Like literally that's, what just I could not get out of my head I'm like this cannot be the way that I die this was never in the cards for me like what so I'm thinking about all that family still has not come to bring me any water then I see Trey's dumb ass come up the stairs he comes into the room mind you this is one of my brothers who is also when I say tweaking tweaking like he's out of it he comes to my room he goes Clark, as I see him, I had stopped crying for a little bit as soon as I saw him. When I say bawling again, I literally, I can't even get the words out. I was like, where have y'all been? And then I'm just, I'm just crying. He runs up to me. I think he gave me a hug or something. And I was like, I said, no, I think I'm dying. He was like, no, he said, Clark. And he looks so damn dumb. He's like, no, Clark, no, I promise. No, you're not dying. Like, no, I know <laughs> it's gonna feel like that, but but it's not. And then I was like, where the fuck have y'all been? Like, I've literally been texting y'all while I was up here. Whatever. He goes, oh my God, India is his daughter. He's like, India, she needs she needed her diaper change. And I swear to God, he's saying this. He's like, she needed her diaper change. And then I like, I couldn't find the baby wipes. He's like, oh my God. And so then I just had to go, but I didn't have my phone. He said, we've been down there. We didn't have our phones. It was like, Bree, she didn't have her phone. Like my mom, she's not, she didn't have her phone. And I'm sitting here like, Tray, I am dying and you are not making me feel any better. I'm like, if you seem like this, I know I'm gonna die. So I said, no, I just need you to go get my mom. Like, please drink. I just need, I can't, I just need you to go get my mom. And I need you to bring this water. He's like, 
okay, I'm gonna bring you some water. He's like, but mom, you really don't need her. He said, come on, he, can't, he comes over, he like wraps his arm around me. He's like, you really don't need my mom telling you she's just gonna freak out. You're